Hey superstars, welcome back to one of my autograph videos where I create some art of a sports ball player and bug him for an autograph. Today I'm taking you with me in the Wayback Machine, and we're heading to a time BC, before COVID. A simpler time when you could see people. A time where you could shake hands, and a time where you could get in-person autographs for ludicrous amounts of money. This is the last of my videos from TribeFest this past spring, where I met Shane Bieber, Carlos Santana, Brad Hand, and our lucky, lucky victim today, Cleveland Indians third baseman, Mr. Jose, 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 Jose Ramirez, or Jose for short, or J-Ram. Jose is a little bit underrated, he's a little bit shy and a little bit cocky, so he's a lot like me. Time to tell you my little Jose Ramirez anecdote. Anecdote? Anecdote, not antidote. All right. Uh, every year I go to opening day with my buddy, whom I'll call Bill. In 2015, Jose made the opening day roster as a shortstop. Not a big name in the farm system when you've got Francisco Lindor waiting in the wings. And if you think about it, he's got a really forgettable name as it is. Anyway, Bill says, I really like this Jose Ramirez guy. What do you think? That's not at all what Bill sounds like, by the way. I respond, oh, he's mid-season trade bait. Shows what I know. That's not how I normally talk either, in case you were wondering. Since then, Jose switched to third base, made the All-Star team twice, two Silver Slugger awards, has been in the running for AL MVP a few times, and he's in the 30-30 club. I have a feeling he's not going to make the 30-30 club this year, but I'll forgive him. I really like this guy. He's a hard-working, hard-nosed spark plug. Fun fact, Jose Ramirez has a brother whose name is Jose Ramirez, and he also plays in the Indians organization. While I'm rambling, with all the talk of names and name changing, someone asked me recently if I liked the name Cleveland Spiders. I kind of don't. The Spiders were an awful, awful, poorly run National League team. I think it would be fun to go back to the Cleveland Naps, but I'm sure I'm in the minority there. The national perception would be that Cleveland baseball is so boring that they can't keep their fans awake. And I guess I'd prefer the Spiders over Cleveland Rocks, another name I've heard tossed around. I think Rocks would be absolutely terrible. But what do you guys think? What names do you like? Here's where I do that YouTuber thing where I tell you to leave a comment down below. Alright, this one came out pretty cool. Let's see what Jose has to say. Did you see that? He gave me a thumbs up! <laughs> this is what my experience has been with some of the current players. They're too cool for school, I guess. But that's alright. Like I said, Jose is shy and he's not really comfortable with English. But he does have a cool hat. I'm still thrilled with the outcome. Thank you guys for watching and listening to me ramble. Like, comment, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. Stay safe and healthy, friends, and we'll see you on the next one. Jose, Jose.